So here are all of my concealers and concealer powders. Um, I am going to organize these and then we'll go through them one by one. How could I forget that I also have the rest of the collection of the Too Faced Born This Way concealer? So these I'm going to also set out here because I do need to do something with these and make a decision with what I'm going to do with them. So these are all my concealers now. Um, let's just start over here. This is this Sonia Kashuk Hidden Agenda Concealer Palette. And I just have decided I don't love concealers in pop form. I was not as impressed with this as I thought I would be considering a lot of people on YouTube at least a couple years ago loved this stuff. But it was just okay and for me I just don't it's a little bit too dry for my under eye and I know a lot of people actually want that and need that so I'm gonna pass this on this is the it cosmetics bye bye under eye I really like it but I find myself when I've had like the full size of my collection which I've since decluttered just on my own but I just recently got the smaller one I actually really do like it but I never need that much coverage and when I do I have other things I can use so I'm just gonna pass this on before I even open the little seal. This is the Visible Lift Blur Concealer and I am shocked at how big this concealer is. Like it's just a big, you'd think it would almost be like a foundation in a way, but it's actually a really nice concealer. Um, I was impressed with the foundation as well if you've seen my foundation um, declutter. I was very impressed with the foundation, like I said. So the concealer is pretty good. I think it blends better with um, your hand than anything. I've tried it like with a brush and I don't think it blends as well. Um, and I don't use beauty blenders every single day, but it works okay with that as well. So I am going to keep this. This is this Boots Number no. 7 Radiant Glow Concealer. And it's one of those pen types. And it's just kind of a glowy... Um, colored concealer. I was very impressed with this. I wish that the actual packaging didn't get so dirty because it always grosses me out, but I really do like this product, so I'm going to keep it. So this is the YSL Touche Eclat Neutralizer. It's just kind of a peachy toned one, but it's a neutralizer, not necessarily a concealer. So it just kind of adds the color to your skin. I just find that with my skin tone, it doesn't, it's just not working. I don't really need this. So I think I am going to pass this on, even though it kills me because it's YSL and I don't want to, but I just don't use it. Gotta be honest with myself. All right. So these, and we might as well talk about all of them. These are the Too Faced Born This Way concealers. Now, I have three shades that I think work okay with my skin tone, and then all of the rest of these um, don't. So, um, like there's medium, deep tan, dark, deep, medium, tan, tan. Let me see. This is light medium though. Because I'm thinking maybe the fair one might be too light and maybe I could switch it with this. Now that I do have a little bit more. That is, I think, too dark. So I think I'm going to pass these on. I'm going to let the ladies at work go through these. Um, it's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe. But what am I going to do with all of them? Um, I think I am going to keep these three, though. This is fair, very fair. And let me go ahead and open this one. And light. They're all so similar, though. Let me kind of swatch them and decide. So that's very fair, fair, light. And that was the light medium. So light medium is definitely way wrong. I think light and fair are good. I think very fair is too light and obviously the light medium. So I'm going to get rid of very fair and just keep these two. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. And this is in... The shade, oh, this is the neutralizer one. And I really, this is the first time I bought this one. I used to buy the pink, like, brightener one, which I like. But I think I like this one better because it has, like, that yellow tone to it. Um, so I love this. Again, I wish the packaging didn't get so gross, but I do love that actual concealer. All right, so, sorry, I had to replace my battery there. Um, so this is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Concealer and it is so bad like I really mean that and I again I wanted to love this I was so disappointed um but I hadn't really heard great things about the concealer I'd heard good things about the foundation and so if you saw my foundation declutter I did get rid of that one as well but um it just never blended into the skin like at all it looked crazy I had to take it off I've tried it like three or four times every time same thing so I think it's just not good with my skin this is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer this one's 
oh, whoa, 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 goodbye, wrong pile. Um, this one I like, actually. It's kind of the one I keep grabbing for because it's so quick to apply. And, um, I mean, really, and it blends so easily, and it really does brighten that area. So for me, I'm like, it's kind of the perfect concealer. Um, and I feel like it's almost gone, too. So whether I'll repurchase it or not will depend probably more on how many concealers I still have. I need to use things up. This is the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. This one doesn't look like it, but it's actually, I'm pretty sure, almost gone. Yeah, there's only like that much left. So this is one I really do like, but it does leave your under eye really dewy. Um, but it has amazing coverage. So this is one that I definitely don't use for every day. I did for a while, and then I realized, you know what, like I just don't need that thick of a product. But it really is an amazing concealer if you have a lot to cover. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. You can see that it's getting pretty low, but I'm gonna use it until it's dead, and then I probably will buy it again because it's one that I travel with constantly. It is amazing. I just wish the pump were more controlled where you can control how much comes out. That's all. I wish they would redo that. But other than that, I hate it when it looks like this. I like to like hit it so it gets concealer everywhere. That looks better, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I love this stuff so much. It was worth the $20 or so that it cost, and it lasts forever. It has lasted me so long. All right, this is the Bare Minerals Well-Rested Concealer. I never use this because I got the clear kind, and I don't know what other kinds there are. I bought this when we were on our cruise, um, but it's it doesn't really, I mean, it kind of brightens the area, but it doesn't really, I don't know, like cover I don't really know. I guess it's just meant to brighten, but I don't love it. I've only used it a couple times. I think I'm going to pass it on. This I just bought. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20. It's a little bit deeper than any of my other concealers, but what I like about it is it actually works pretty well to cover face blemishes color-wise, but it also still looks good under my eyes. Once I blend it, you'll see kind of lightens up. And it really is a nice formula. For a long time, I didn't get what all the hype was with this. Um, but the more I've used this, I've realized, you know, it actually does blend really well and really quickly under your eye. It does settle into fine lines, however. But honestly, like all of these do, um, at least for me. But it works really well if you set it. I love all of these, to be honest. This is the Bare Minerals Well-Rested Powder Concealer, and it is incredible. It, I've had this forever. Again, it lasts for a very long time. It's a very light powder, but it really brightens the under eye. You don't even need a concealer with this. It works well on its own, but I love when I want to look really flawless, I'll use this and I'll use this and it is absolutely remarkable. It is probably like if I could own only one thing out of all of this, it'd probably be this because it's so incredible. Um, this is the Everyday Minerals one. It's pretty darn amazing as well. It's the same exact type thing where it's a mineral concealer. Um, it's really brightening. Do I really need both? Probably not. And that's the only thing I'm thinking. I'm like, you know, I really don't need to have both of these. They do the exact same thing. I think I might just finally pass this one on, even though I love both. But I like this one just a little bit more. I'm never going to run out of, like, either one of these. These are going to last... Let me look at it. Yeah, this is probably halfway full and I've had it forever. This is actually pretty full and I haven't used, maybe I should just keep both of those though. I think I'm gonna keep both because why get rid of them? And they are a little bit different of tones. This, the last thing is this Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And this, again, a similar idea, but this I even like to use, um, it's even more finely milled, I think. Um, it's not as brightening, but it's still nice. This looks really nice if you're just trying to highlight your face as well. So I, I think I'm just gonna keep all of them. I really do love them all. There's a reason they've kind of stayed in my collection for quite some time. So this on the top is everything I'm keeping. This down here is everything I'm getting rid of. I think I did a pretty darn good job. Um, I mean, it's obviously still more concealer than I could ever use in a, before they'd go bad, but a lot of them are, for the most of the way, gone. Like all three of these are pretty much gone right here. Um, but I love them all and I use them all and I feel like for pretty much all of these I feel that I can remember the last time I used them because it wasn't that long ago Whereas with a lot of these I always look at them and just look right past them because I never want to use them. So awesome